Private cars are a big part of life in our urban areas, but they also cause noise pollution, raise air temperatures, and reduce opportunities for physical activity, according to the European Commission. They contribute significantly to a city's air pollution, too, so cutting harmful exhaust emissions by reducing the number of cars used could have sizable health and economic benefits. More than 80% of people living in urban areas that monitor air pollution are exposed to air quality levels that exceed guideline limits from the World Health Organization, WHO. And air pollution costs the world more than $5 trillion from decreased productivity every year, according to the World Economic Forum's Global Risk Report 2020. More than two-thirds of those who participated in a survey for the report said they expect the harm done to people's health from pollution will worsen. That's why the Chinese decided to do something about this problem and came up with an ingenious idea that, for now, seems to be unique in the world. Are you fascinated by this topic and want to know more? Don't worry, we'll present you with all the facts you need to know about this topic. All you have to do before we continue the video is to subscribe to our channel and press the notification button so you never miss more videos like this one. If you're ready for more information, we can start now. And yes, welcome back to the Apex channel. Tencent got into the whole internet business before the internet was even a thing, at least in its home country, China. Today, it is a leading industry figure and, as such, has both the capital and the desire to invest in something not many other companies can, its very own city. It will be called NetCity and it will be almost entirely car-free, except for self-driving vehicles that will be allowed in certain parts. NetCity covers an area of about 500 acres or 22 million square feet and will include anything from office buildings to parks and recreational zones, shops, schools, and entertainment venues. It will be what you might refer to by the old cliche as a city of the future, in that it will be interconnected, smart, green, and the perfect hub for innovation, just not the place for cars. Designed by American firm NBBJ, Net City will be home to about 80,000 people and will serve primarily Tencent. Situated on a stretch of land on the Pearl River estuary, it will focus on offering dedicated spaces to pedestrians, but will still have some low-speed lanes and bike paths. The idea for the city came from imagining a community in which the boundaries between work and play have been blurred. That's not to say everything in Net City will be work-centered, but rather that it will foster new relationships and bring the work outside to make it more fun and more rewarding. However, Net City won't be isolated from the rest of Shenzhen. If anything, designers believe that by connecting it to the rest of the city through bridges, ferries, and the subway, people from elsewhere will flock to enjoy the many amenities included. One such amenity is the promise of very little car traffic, no noise, and no pollution. The main goal is to provide a place where innovation can flourish. To do that, the city tries to minimize the impact of the car as much as possible. Going car-free is still a little bit challenging in our world, so developers spent a lot of time designing the city to be as low impact as possible, removing cars from where they don't need to be and focusing on people. The result is an almost entirely car-free city that has a green corridor for public transport, bikes, and autonomous cars. This will ensure easy transfer from one point to another, both of people and goods, while removing unnecessary traffic. Moreover, by encouraging people to walk from the car drop-off to where they need to be, they will now have the chance to enjoy nature or reconnect with other fellow humans. When not taking in the views or socializing, the residents of Net City will be making full use of all technological advances. There will be solar panels set up for sustainable energy and systems to capture and reuse wastewater, among other things. As for the fact that only AVs will be allowed in the city, that alone should give you an idea of the timeline of this project. Developers estimate Net City will take seven years to complete, but that's after the design is complete. Tencent wants to bring in different architecture firms to design the buildings, which will have between 1 and 30 floors, so it could be another couple of years before the blueprints are done. You have to admit, this is a very creative and genius plan, right? China has always been an advanced country, and this plan will only further set it apart from the rest of the world. What's your opinion about this story? Would you live in this future city without cars? Share your thoughts and comments with us in the comments section below because we'd like to know them. At the very end, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to press the bell and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. That's it for today. We'll see you again soon.